Number seven. Mom Peggy's last seventy seven. Hey, all the sevens. This photo here, I confess, I did not take, but it is a beautiful photograph, one of seriousness, and I didn't realize it would end up one of the last photos of my mother. There will be a couple more this last trip I had to Florida, Mother's Day week 1984. This was actually taken on Mother's Day 1984. I'm in it also, but this particular shot I wanted of my mother alone. Number eight, I'll show you the full photo. I wrote a story about my last week's visit with my mother. It was titled, it is titled, A Last Mother's Day's Goodbye. So now I'm going to play you another part of my March 10th 1977 audio. Here we go. No more milk, no more cholesterol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want you, you, you got one of my letters with all that in it, and uh, and I really uh, got rid of it. I don't know whether it was just a shot wearing off or whether uh, well, I got mad. <laughs> I got mad. I'm so mad. <laughs> well, that's what it was. I was mad. <coughs> I started jogging, I started doing everything I should because I was scared. But uh, I don't think I'll take that shot again unless there's real, real proof. No, I'm not going to have it ever again. No. <laughs> <laughs> that way. If they get the time bay back yeah, again, I'll, I'll take, take that. that. And the funny thing is, just before I got the swine flu shot, I went to the Danbury Fair in Connecticut. And there was a section on swine. Big word, swine. <laughs> Everybody stayed away from that swine. <laughs> I said, I'm not going near that. <laughs> oh, that bear is wonderful. You're a rough bear. It's really good. It's quite a mixed crowd, though. But otherwise, you get some very good country cooking. I think I had about 6,000 calories at that. I had a couple of pies. <laughs> it was only one bit. <laughs> Sausage heroes, Belgian waffles. Oh, I went from one place to the other. Now caught at a car. Isn't it so beautiful? Yeah, yeah, sure is. But I'll never forget, I went on the Ferris wheel. And they had to stop it because one of the wheels came off its track. So we were all suspended for about 45 minutes. Yeah. They wouldn't dare move the wheel. Yeah. Finally, they got the thing on the cable again, and we all got off. We didn't learn what it was really till after we got off, because it was mm -hmm. it was very scary. Not too safe some of those sure rides. Think so. <laughs> but it's really something. It's like a real country, you know, yeah. homemade I think about thing. It's a long time. They had Dutch thought... Village. Oh, um, went through there. Yeah. Some Indian crafts and yeah. Arabian horses. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I would love that. All kinds of crap. Oh, incidentally, Bonnie has a St. Bernard. Uh-oh. 150 pounds. Well, I don't think anybody will try anything in that house. What happened was Jack's sister was going to have it destroyed. Why? Well, she had it for a couple of months and she found out it was uh, too big for his her house. Now Bonnie's house is not all that large. No, I know. But Bonnie could not stand to have the dog destroyed. Bonnie always loved animals. Yeah. Now the cat took a great dislike to this huge monster. Oh, really? But the dog doesn't do anything to the cat at all, you know. And the cat's always spitting at uh, her and swiping at her. 
<laughs> you know, those big dogs, I understand, are quite gentle, really. Yeah. The big, big, huge Bernard. Well, the funny thing is, Sam and I were kind of worried about the whole thing because the uh, three dogs over there had killed young youngsters. St. Bernard's. Remember? St. Bernard's? Yeah, Long Island. Oh, they were St. Bernard's, huh? Yeah. But they were male. This one's female. Uh, 